We are back here on Girl Talk. As promised, we have been on a field trip. Rich, say your last name, Wigand. Wigand, yes. I did well, has joined us today from Dodge Jeep Chrysler, Chrysler Jeep, Dodge. Wait, let me say it again. Chrysler, Chrysler Jeep, Jeep Dodge, Dodge. It's my favorite. And Ram, Ram trucks. See now? Yep, You're new, I'm four. new. This is all good. <laughs> well, I've already picked the car that I'm in love with, the Renegade here. On, We're both wearing this, and it says, ask me how to win a car. So I'm going to ask you, how do we win a car? Well, all you have to do is uh, come in and uh, take a test drive. That's literally all you have to do. Everyone that's entered in, uh, everyone that takes a test drive is entered in to win, and okay. you got a good chance of winning one or three vehicles. Talk to me a little bit about the cars that are being um, demonstrated, if you will, or pitched, if you will. So we have three vehicles. The first one is the Dodge Dart. It's, okay. it's the sedan, the car. So if you need kind of an entry-level car, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Jeep Renegade, the one that the one you I love, like, the one that you love. A little it's testosterone. -y. Right here behind mm -hmm. us. It's a little sportier. Yes. Uh, it's an SUV, obviously. Jeep, fantastic brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have the uh, Dodge Journey, and the Dodge Journey, this one right over Pretty. here, mm -hmm. is uh, more of your your family. Uh, it's called a crossover, okay. small minivan kind of mm -hmm. vehicle. But, but we've gotten you, rid of that minivan word. Yes, no. <laughs> So we call it a crossover, but it's a little bit bigger for a family. If you've got kids, it's a great uh, family vehicle. So literally, what do I have to do? I just come in and ask to drive? You ask to take a test drive. You don't have to test drive one of these three. You can test drive anything. Everyone's being entered in. Okay. It's really a great chance to win a vehicle. Uh, as I said, you get to pick one of the three. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone's going to get it. There's an absolute guaranteed winner. It's not like one of those chances to win and then... <laughs> Nobody and then gets nobody it. wins, right. exactly. On on you have to test drive by the nineteenth, and everyone that test drives by the nineteenth, we're gonna pull out the top we're gonna pull out a hundred names. All right. And then we're gonna bring the hundred people in on the twenty third. Okay. And on the twenty third, we're gonna give away a vehicle. Talk to me a little bit. It was really interesting as we were getting ready for the segment we were talking about sort of buying a car then and buying a car now, and you said it's really changed significantly. Oh, it's it's so much easier today. Mm -hmm. I mean most of your information's online. Uh, people come in far more educated. Is you know, that a good thing for you? Does oh, that it's, it's a fantastic okay, thing. Good. It mm -hmm. actually it increases customer happiness. It's much easier to deal with customers that already basically know kind of what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you might not switch options or packages or a couple different cars, but uh, you know we used to say the average customer used to go to four to five dealerships okay. to select, and that was a lot of work. Oh yeah. You know? mm -hmm. The average person today, 1.2 dealerships. So really, most people are only going to one dealership. Are dealerships about, because I know when I looked here, I came in, I was so impressed. First of all, I was asked if anyone could, if I could be helped by two people before I got halfway in, which was really helpful. And then the second thing is, I was thirsty, I wanted a soda. So I walked over, you've got a full cafe. And I saw folks who had been here uh, getting their car serviced. They were online, they were watching TV, there were magazines, there were newspapers. It was, I felt very um, at home, if I, if I may say that. Well, good. I'm glad you felt that way because mm -hmm. that's what we strive for here at the at the Auto Mall. We we want you to feel like home. Uh, we want you to feel at ease. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, we take a very consultative approach, both on the sales and the service side, uh, and we look to avoid the uh, the traditional bad image that people have of the confrontational approach. Well, that's interesting that you call it um, less confrontational, more collaborative, really. Sure. So what does that mean as far as you, the salesperson, versus me, the cons or not versus, in collaboration with the consumer? What do I need to come in armed with? What would help you? Well, anytime we deal with a, a consumer who has done their research, we're that much further ahead of the game. Okay. Uh, but generally speaking, we just want to help you find the right vehicle for you mm -hmm. at the best possible terms for you, whatever fits your particular situation. In a given day, we might deliver a, a used car here for $7,000. Okay. Or we might deliver a Dodge Viper for over $100,000. You know, one of the things that I that I I wonder about too, are there relationships that are built? Oh, absolutely. M much of our sales staff here has been here for eight years, right. 10 years. And so they have their own customer base and they have their own referrals. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very family type atmosphere. Talk to me about the demographics of people who buy different kinds of cars. You've got you've got three pretty distinct cars that you're going to be focusing on for your summer giveaway. What can you kind of give me a broad spectrum about each one of them? Like who would be the ideal person to do the to do the renegade if you had to choose a demographic or do I need to get over that stereotype? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, we used to 
market cars according to demographics. Okay. But times have changed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, six, yeah, a 63 year old a woman 63 coming year old in. might get this vehicle, <laughs> or a 16 year old might right. get this vehicle. Okay. You know, gone are the days of this vehicle fits this segment from 35 to 45 or what have you. The Dodge Journey might be a professional that needs extra room. True, uh, true. It might well, be I'm a, a designer, so it would be great for, to lug all my stuff around. Sure. We get people that take the journeys that have no kids, but they have dogs. Oh. And they want to take their dogs to the beach, or they mm -hmm. want to take their dogs to the groomer, or whatever. It's a perfect vehicle. The back seat folds down, tons of room back there. And, you know, it gets great gas mileage, so it makes it easy to get around. For many people, is it about the features that are offered within each car? So here in our market, we do have a lot of customers that like to get the most features available. Okay. But to stereotype it and say that's everyone, not right. necessarily. Well, it's funny because um, Debbie and I were talking about it. I like cloth seats. She likes some, a leather seat. And it is funny how we all have these. Um, yeah, it's, that's, that's a perfect example. One person comes in and goes, oh, I would never get right. that. It doesn't have leather. And the next person comes in, I'm, I've right. always had cloth. Right, exactly. <laughs> You're like, uh, what? So it, it really is preferences. And of course, we have a wide selection here mm -hmm. uh, at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. And we try and order a little bit of everything. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, too. When people come in, can they literally find a car, fall in love, and drive away with the car? Absolutely. I love that. I hate delaying gratification. <laughs> so, right? Well, it is a treat to meet you. I've heard wonderful things. I think you're going to enjoy your stay here. You've been here forever, at least vacationing. And we want to thank all of you for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great day.